Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Just go ahead and take each one on each side. Okay, anytime. Since the renewal of the series in 1993, the winner of the Michigan State Penn State rivalry game has been presented with this guy, the one and only land grant trophy. It honors the university's two unique places in history as the two pioneer land grant schools in the nation. And MSU really wants to keep it in East Lansing after going 0 for 2 in trophy games this year. Plus, their season depends on it, and it's where we begin our chat this week with Coach Mel Tucker. Well, it's no surprise to anyone kind of what's on the table here for you guys. Last game of the regular season, trying to become bowl eligible. That's not the conversations that you're having around here. So what are the conversations that you are having heading into this week against Penn State? Yeah, great opportunity. Uh, you know, we have seniors that, you know, this, this has wound down and this is it for them in terms of guaranteed opportunities. So it's a you know, really important top 10 team and opportunity to play our best. 60 minutes. You know, obviously we know that uh, postseason is uh, is at stake, and our guys love to play football. And I know they want to play as many games as possible. Same thing with the coaches. Same thing with the support staff. So uh, yes, uh, there is a sense of urgency, and it is a very important game. It's a big game for us. Afterwards. On Saturday against Indiana, you had mentioned that you were just sick about it all, how the game had transpired. So now that you've been able to watch the film, that's something that you like to do. What's the biggest takeaway from what you learned from re-watching the game? Consistency and performance. And, um, you know, for us, um, we have to be able to execute uh, for four quarters, you know, 60 minutes in the game. We have to be uh, more perfect more often in all three phases and it's going to take a lot of mental toughness. You know, how do we improve in just a week's time? You know, that's, that's the, the question in the areas where we need the most improvement. But yes, yeah, certainly, um, when you come out of a game like that, you know, very disappointed, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, frustrated with some of the things that you, you know, that I see on tape, you know, afterwards. Um, but what's most important is what we do next. Special teams play was the difference. You knew that that was going to be the case. How much emphasis have you put on special teams so far this week? Yeah, uh, even more. And we, we, we practice special teams every day. Um, we dedicate a lot of meeting time uh, to special teams. Um, so it's a priority for us. Um, you know, we've had to go back and, uh, you know, revisit some things, you know, personnel, uh, scheme, and approach. Um, so we've retaught some things of some of our, uh, some of our special teams units, which has taken some additional time, um, but it's, it's well worth the investment. The psyche of a kicker usually is a little bit different than the other positions on a team. So where would you say that Ben Patton's psyche is this week? You know what? That's a great question. I don't know that. <laughs> um, you know, and uh, and I've never been a kicker for any coach or any player. Um, you know, every play has a history and a life of its own. Every game has a history and a life of its own. You know, so uh, this is a new game and a new opportunity. And what's important is what we do in the game. You know, we learn from the past. Um, hopefully, we uh, you know we improve, um, and then you know we prepare for the next challenge, the next opportunity. And so, you know, that's what we're all doing. After the game, too, you mentioned that there was a lot of devastation in the locker room. The players also mentioned there was a lot of devastation in the locker room. Can you describe that a little bit more and what it was like to walk in there after that loss? Yeah, well, I'm always the last one in the locker room, so the players are uh, pretty much uh, quieted down and, you know, you know, ready for me to come in and address them. And so, um, you know, a lot of times, you know, it's the body language, you know, you're looking at, um, you know, facial expressions of guys, you know, and I know this team very well. Some of these guys have been with us you know, for three seasons. And so, uh, you know, I know, you know, what it means to them and, 
when they don't have success, you know, it, it, it really hurts. And so, you know, that was the atmosphere in the locker room after the game. The other major point of emphasis for Tucker this week is he wants the players to learn how to own things, and it will be all about how the Spartans respond against the Nittany Lions. Based upon Tucker's track record, a win could be in their future come Saturday, and we'll explain why when we come back. Welcome back to the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Earlier this year on the road at Illinois, Michigan State was able to take down the Illini who were ranked at the time. It was Mel Tucker's fourth road win in his career over a Big Ten ranked opponent and a major milestone in his career. He's the first FBS coach to have four road wins against AP ranked teams in the last four years. So we had to ask him if that kind of stat could play a factor in Saturday's outcome. And it's where we begin part two of our chat this week. We don't look at the rankings, obviously. You know, we make sure the players are aware of, you know, their win-loss record, who, who they played and things like that and the score and how they won games. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, where a team is ranked really doesn't matter to us. One thing that's pretty interesting about Penn State as you head into this game against them, they're coming off a game where they had three non-offensive touchdowns. Have you showed your players that yet? Or, I mean, what's it like when you're going up against a team who's essentially, you know, able to do that? Yeah, well, we show the players, you know, plays from the previous games. You know, we make sure they understand, you know, how they won the game or, you know, why they lost the game. You know, critical plays, explosive plays, whether offense, defense, or special teams, so that our players, you know, understand what, you know, what they're facing. So, um, you know, we do that every week. And, and this week's no different. When you go up against a coach like James Franklin, what's your relationship with him? And just sort of what do you anticipate as you go up against him? Yeah, I've gotten to know uh, Coach Franklin uh, a little bit over the years, and we have a, a good relationship, you know, a very good professional relationship, you know, um, especially like during COVID. Um, you know, we were, on a, we were on a lot of calls together. It was a lot of uh, conference calls, you know, all big team coaches calls, you know, AD calls, you know, we were, we, were, we were doing that once a week, sometimes, you know, twice a week, and we were all trying to figure it out. I have a high level of respect uh, for James as a coach and as a person. One more quick question about going to Penn State. It's sort of one of those places that this game every single year for Mich a Michigan State team, it's always snowing. The weather is usually just atrocious against Penn State. Even last year, it was a snow game here. So what do you try to prep some of your players on who haven't played there, maybe some of the freshmen? Because you do have a lot of freshmen that play for you right now. Yeah, we have a, a, lot, of, a lot of the young kids that are running around out there, and they're getting a lot of experience, and in, in, in in some of them are making plays, which is great. Um, when we go on the road, and if there's um, certain special type of env environments, we try to, uh, we do show them that ahead of time. We'll show them video, you know, of the stadium. You know, uh, we'll make sure they understand how loud it's going to be. Um, you know, that's, that's important um, so players can, you know, visualize uh, that and be prepared. Also, we'll create, um, you know, some uh, controlled and uncontrolled chaos in practice, and that will also include noise. Um, to, you know, to help, you know, our, with our communication, things like that. My experience has been, you know, once you actually get to the game and you get in the game, you know, you stay focused and you play one play at a time, kind of all those things kind of go out the window. It's not as big of a factor, you know, when you're focused on the task at hand and focus on executing. So, you know, that's what we're going to have to do in that environment. It is Thanksgiving week. Yep. What does that schedule look like for you and your team? <laughs> well, uh, not much changes for us from a, a schedule standpoint. Um, and that's because we're a morning practice team. So normally we're off the field and, you know, by 1130, uh, you know, every day. You know, in the team meeting, I'll, you know, I'll put up a, a slide on the PowerPoint that says, Happy Thanksgiving and probably have a turkey. And, uh, and that'll be about it. And we'll go to work and then Players will have the afternoon to, uh, you know, to uh, celebrate, you know, Thanksgiving. Um, then we'll be right back at it Friday morning. Do you have a favorite food item that you like to eat on Thanksgiving when you get the chance? Um, you know, that's a great question. So, uh, if I can get a hold of um, 
sweet potato pie, uh, I'll definitely do that. Um, I'll just have to make sure, especially this time of year for me, that I don't have too much. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> <laughs> do you overindulge in sweet potato pie? <laughs> that that could that could happen. I gotta have I gotta have a high level of discipline and intentional focus in that regard. <laughs> In his three years in East Lansing, Tucker is one and one against Penn State with the lone win coming last year in a snow filled Spartan Stadium. As always, we hope you enjoyed this week's episode of the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. Have a happy and healthy rest of your weekend.